What's up ladies and gentlemen, this is your friend Collectors here with a thoroughly detailed and no nonsense guide on how to unlock the jet gun on the Liberty Falls map in Black Ops 6. First things first, at the start of every wave, come over here and melee this vending machine. This vending machine actually can drop some good stuff. It almost always drops essence and salvage, but sometimes it can drop perks and even a ray gun. Then after that come over here on the first floor in the hotel. This is where we actually assemble the jet gun, the room that they opened. But it's good to come here on the first wave and kill these zombies because that will get you some extra cash or essence, whatever you want to call it. Once, uh, Also, these zombies are a little bit aggressive, so be mindful while fighting them. I am killing them in one hit with the melee because I have the case cracker knife unlocked, which you get from doing all the safe house puzzles in the Black Ops 6 campaign. If you guys are looking for it, there is a guide for it out as well. I will link that in the description. So keep killing these zombies for the first couple of waves and after the end of every wave just come out and melee the vending machine again so that it can give you some more goodies. Now I am going to be speeding this video up and slowing it down at times to you know not make it too long but I will show you the important stuff. And here as you see just as I was talking about it I melee this vending machine and it dropped a rare ethereum crystal. This gives you pack a punch level 1. Also, if you melee this vending machine when you have the melee Machiato perk equipped, it drops better goodies, it drops better rewards, but it breaks, so you can only do it once per game. Uh, so once that's done, make your way all the way over here and pick up the water valve. The water valve is right here as I'm showing you. There you go. And now I'm going to show you one more secret. There are a couple of secrets I'll, I'm going to try to show you as much as I can while going to the jet gun so you can get it as early and without as much, like with as little fuss as possible. There's a bonus points over here. Come over here, shoot it. You can see it in the corner. That will drop some more bonus points for you. Now I'm going to run back to the spawn and open the way to the bowling alley because we, I want to get the water pressure uh, step out of the way. This is the one of the most annoying steps for getting the jet gun and also the easter egg. Come over here, melee this panel, you press square to install the water valve and then you have to hold square on it. This takes a while and if you're solo, this is one which has the highest chance of you going down because it takes around a minute or something. So just run around killing zombies and interacting with the water pressure gauge whenever you can, whenever you get the chance. Once that is done, this uh, water pressure when it's maximum, all the zombies around you will die off and it will drop you the water pressure gauge. That is the second item we need for the jet gun. Once that is done, we are going to start making our way all the way back to the church and we are going to interact with this channel or this machine, whatever you want to call it. Uh, guy will start talking, zombies will leave you alone for a while, you can run ar around collecting salvage from these crystals if you want. So we have to let him finish talking. Once he's done talking, what we are now looking for is the groundskeeper. Uh, so once we get, once he says uh, something like, I am passed into your communications now. Then when that is when you have to run out and go back to the graveyard. Okay, and in this graveyard is where we are going to be staying till the groundskeeper zombie spawns. Now the groundskeeper zombie is going to be an old zombie in dungarees and a hat. There you see I am showing you one angle of him. I killed him right there. I could not get a front angle of him while fighting him. There is another angle you see when you aim him you will see groundskeeper pop up. So make sure to kill him. He only spawns when all the zombies in the round have spawned and if you kill all the other zombies he can vanish. He will technically be the only zombie running away from you inside in front of a mob. Like whenever you are thinning down a mob, he will be like the only zombie running away from you other uh, other than coming towards you. So that's one thing. Once you get the tool shed key, you come all the way over here and open this wooden shed to get the handbrake. And that is your second part for the uh, jet gun. Now the third part, we need to open this gate. And for this we need a mangler cannon attack on this gate. So one trick is to stand in between the mangler and the door and see if he shoots you. That did not work for me. The other trick is to break the mangler's cannon. I tried that. That also did not work for me. You have to break his arm by shooting at his cannon when he's trying to shoot at you. Both of these tricks are a bit tricky because other zombies can get in the way and ruin things for you. And you have to shoot his cannon about 3-4 times to get the arm cannon from him. Otherwise, just go and craft an arm cannon, uh, like a mangler cannon uh, from the crafting table. And once you have it, break open the door in the radio house. 
and then there will be some piles of debris you have to press square on to open them and there you see first try i got the electrical wires and that is your final piece for the jet guns there are like four or four five piles in the radio house so just watch out for that sometimes enemies can also spawn from that otherwise it's mostly salvage or electrical wires so come over here in the hotel room and here we can start crafting the jet gun and there you go folks you have crafted the jet gun now you can do the ethereal easter egg and also you can move start moving on with the main easter egg of this map as well the guide for those will also be coming out soon so be sure to watch out for those and apart from that as for the jet gun as far as wonder weapons go i'd say it is decent enough it is good for moving down hordes and hordes of zombies but against the bigger zombies like manglers and abominations this jet gun does nothing i would say if you are going for the easter egg maybe drop this and if you can get your hands on a ray gun but that's it so that's my no nonsense and highly detailed guide for getting the jet gun on liberty falls map on black ops 6 i'll be coming to you with some newer guides really soon till then please do remember to like share and subscribe and as always wherever you are please stay safe stay healthy and stay busy playing some good games